Galar stood among the gathered men of learning, as each answer to the complex question was put into the computer. It was a monster of a machine, taking up most of the dead world he stood on, orbiting a dying sun. It was all that remains of those who came before. They were a vast empire that spanned the known universe and beyond, but before they fell, they took special care to remove all traces of their existence, except for here. May the representative of the corner people please step forward and provide their solution. Galar took a step forward and didn't put the solution for his planet, the calculation of the degradation of uranium for their planet over the course of 1,000 years. All the questions were like that. It had taken nearly 100 years since the discovery of this world to collect all the answers. As he put his answer, a loud whirring signalling a correct solution was put in and could be heard across the planet. Thank you. May the representative of the Solarian Collective please step forward and provide their solution. The coordinator spoke. Galar took a deep breath and found a place to stand away from most of the other groups. Despite the galaxy being at peace for nearly a decade, you can still see the scars of war even in this group. Those whose races were allied tended to clump together, and those who were at war avoided each other. It was a shame, really. This was a moment of triumph for everyone, and there was still mistrust among the races. A loud siren caught the attention of everyone. A warning signal on everyone's personal computers was sounding. A communication signal was being sent out. A quick glance at the display showed something Galar never even knew possible. It was being sent to every single member of the galaxy. How? He could hear another representative say. And before anyone else could even think, a hologram formed in front of the computer. A bipedal being with forward-facing eyes, pink skin, and an unnerving large smile. No one could have expected this. They thought it would unlock the database of those who came before, like a challenge to prove they were worthy. Hello. It spoke in Galactic Common, in a warm way that put Galar at ease. I am Dr. Solas, head of the Ark Project. I am pleased to see you all here. Everyone stood stunned. No one saying anything. I know you have lots of questions, but please let me tell you the tale of my people first. I am from a long extinct species known as humans, or as you refer to us, those who came before. This brought up some murmurs from the crowd. How did they know what we were going to call them? We were a violent and strange race that didn't really leave our home so much as explode out of it once we had the chance. It seemed like overnight we went from killing each other to a unified wave, grabbing every world we could and setting up homes to leave just as fast again. Within ten generations we had colonised the known galaxy. And do you know what we found? Nothing. Not a trace of another intelligent life form. He held this last statement as the collective galactic community held its breath. How? There's currently over a million individual members of the galactic community, and it seems a new intelligent life form is discovered daily. But we persisted. Because if there is one thing humanity is, it's being social. We mastered science, built artificial life in our image to talk and teach. But in the end, we found nothing. As the last worlds were colonised, the last discoveries made, our people grew restless. We had no new ventures, and we fell into war. Bloody conflict that lasted for thousands of years. The holograms looked down, and in a somber voice. We nearly destroyed ourselves. God, we were selfish. Destroying the only life in the universe, and for what? Resources? Boredom? But then, a breakthrough occurred. He looked back out at the crowd. We had discovered it. The singularity. We could leave this dead universe and move on, maybe even find others like us. Dr. Solace smiled again, this time with a tinge of sadness. But we couldn't leave this galaxy dead and barren again, in the off chance another species would grow alone. 
So a plan was formed. The Ark Project started. A free stage plan. Remove all trace of humanity ever existing, except for Earth. Terraforming every world to sustain life of some sort. And of course, he trailed off with a knowing look. You. We had long ago mastered biology. It was fairly easy to set up each world with the right genetic sequence to give intelligent life a chance to evolve. But someone had to stay behind. Ensure it worked. I volunteered. I gave up Singularity and had my consciousness uploaded to this machine. He gestured at the computer. As an AI to watch, to learn, and to know when you were ready. Seeing you all grow was perhaps the happiest thing I had witnessed. When the galaxy was once a universe of one, it became a universe of many. You advanced, you fought, you traded, and you learned. And I am so proud of you all for what you have done. The collected group of men of learning. No, the entire galactic community was too stunned to speak. Without thought, Galar asked the only question that mattered. Why? The hologram looked at him, and with a big smile he simply said, Because we were alone, and we made sure no one would ever be alone again.